die now. Whoa, too close. My sword! I can... Uh, I can almost reach it! Don't worry! I've got it! choosing to save me. Uh, the people behind the scenes at Telltale have asked me to talk to you for a little bit about the whole making choices thing in this game, and how every one of them affects the story you experience. As the hero Jesse, you just chose to save me, which was an awesome choice by the way. Love it. So, anyway, by choosing to save me, it means my feelings about your loyalty and our friendship are really good, and I'm gonna want to hang out with you. Plus bonus, I get to keep my awesome sword, Miss Butter. Who knows when that'll come in handy. Of course, uh, it does mean that Jack... Uh, I lost my eye. I was gonna say that your depth perception isn't what it used to be, but you gotta admit, that thing makes you look pretty awesome. Uh, I guess. I still don't know why they chose you. I do. Fan favorite, baby. Fan favorite? Feels a little far. Well, no offense, but who else would it be? Well... What? Who? Uh... Lucas? What? Seriously? You think he has more fans than me? Let's maybe just change subjects. People just picked you for this choice. That's really exciting. Yeah, yeah right? probably because I wasn't up against stupid Lucas. Stupid, charming, perfect Lucas. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Gotcha, Jack. Now come on, let's get out of here. Time enchanting down the drain. And cut. Okay, everyone, let's get ready for the next scene. Ten minutes break. And I said, darling, you can't mind diamond all with that. Jack, <laughs> a camera. Ah, of course. <clears throat> Are the marauding hordes of Cutthroat Canyon getting you down? Are your fingers frozen, clutching the rocks of Spider Peak Mountain? You need Jack's survival. Jack, this is the choice interview. Oh. Right, right. Thank you for choosing to save me today. I would never tell Petra this, but I think we can both agree that I was clearly the superior choice. All those crazy adventures you're having as Jesse, this story you've been experiencing, the choices you make affect it, shape it. Even the little choices can have surprisingly large impacts. Maybe you've seen pictures of me with an eye patch. Yeah, that doesn't happen now. Because of your choice to save me, I get to keep both eyes. And might I say, I'm very fond of you for it, friend. Ah, oh, here we go again. Not everyone picked you. I mean, no, not statistically. But I think that statistically, we can all agree that the people who chose me are probably Just... very smart, charismatic. They picked you one time, OK? It was your first episode. It was, uh, it, it was beginner's luck. But it's cool. It was kind of a pity choice, don't you think? I. I what? Yeah, because you're kind of, I mean, you know. What? Uh, old? Oh, now hang on, that's a low blow. Ah, uh, don't get grumpy, Jack. Jack? Uh, oh, whoa, what's that? I can't hear you with my old ears. Anyway, what I was trying to say before this set became a hostile environment is that because it's your story, it's driven by your choices. And I think that's pretty lit, which is slang that I know and I use because I'm hip, no matter what some people say. Choices matter. Jack out. Oh, come on. I said I was sorry. 